to be sung, Sister Gorley, then I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. And I promised him, yeah. I truly did promise him that whatever he needed, wherever he wanted to send me, whatever he wanted me to do, that I would do it. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God, because God is a good God, church. Do I have any witnesses in the house? Amen. That God is a good God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And he's a promise keeper. Yes, he is. He's better to us than we deserve. Amen. Can I get a witness to that? Amen. Better than we deserve. Amen. Amen. Praise God, but he's so good, he's so wonderful, church, and he's just so awesome. I just thank him. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Well, during our, our, our worship service, amen, our praise service, I ask that we sing a song called Thank You, Lord. And, and that's what my sermonette is about today, thanking the Lord. Amen? amen? Praise God. You know, I don't know about some of you, but I can tell you that, you know, sometimes, you know, we go about our daily routine, <laughs> you know, day in and day out, we just, we just take for granted that God is going to keep on blessing us. Amen? amen? We just take for granted that God is always going to be there for us. We just take for granted his love and his goodness and his mercy. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. You know, day in and day out, we just know that we're going to wake up every morning. We know that we're just going to have, hopefully, a pretty good day. Amen. And then we just know that, you know, when we lay down at night, that that's just our little rest. Amen. Our little resting period. And then we're going to wake up again. But how many of you know that tomorrow is not promised to any of us? Amen. Amen. It is not promised to any of us. But we thank God for his mercy and his goodness and his grace. Amen. That he keeps on blessing us despite yeah. ourselves. Amen. Amen. Just keeps on blessing us. Yeah. And you know, I was thinking this morning as I was getting ready to wake up, and I, I try to wake up thanking the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I was just thinking. I was thinking back, uh, uh, Deacon Wilder, to, to my dad and uh, uh just how much I love him and, and how much I truly miss him, church. And, and I was thinking about all the things that, that he would do for me, you know. Uh, your father's always looking out for you and always doing things for you. And, and they just love it when you would just ask them to do something for you, you know. And I would ask my dad to come to the house and do this for me and do that for me because, you know, he was one of those people that was kind of like a handyman type. And, and he knew to me, he knew everything, knew how to do it all, you know. So I knew he loved to do stuff for you. And, and you know, I wonder that he had a lot of money. Didn't have a lot of money or anything, but he loved just using his hands and helping you out. Amen? Praise God. So I said, Dad, come help me do this. And Dad, come help me do that. And, and you know, and, and, and sometimes I would forget to just say thank you. Because I knew that by him doing that, you know, he, he really loved it so much. And I knew he was getting gratitude just from that. But sometimes, you know, God does things for you. We just forget to say thank you. Come on, come on. Amen? We just forget to say thank you. And, 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 and Sister Wall, as I've gone through the years and I was always, you know, when I was young, you know, I was always working. My sisters, I don't remember what they did, but I don't remember them working, but I know I worked. Praise God. And I always earn a few dollars here and then. And Dad would always ask me, say, you got a couple of bucks? And I was always so proud to be able to just hand him a couple of dollars here and there. Sometimes he didn't even want it, didn't even need it. He would just ask for it because he knew that was a way of me kind of helping out, you know. Uh, so I, I, I remember the years that I would just be there with him and be there for him and trying to do stuff. But you know, you know, Sister Wilder, as much as I loved him, I, I got to tell you, I don't remember always saying to my daddy, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. And, and we're the same way when it comes to the Lord, aren't we? Amen. He does so much for us. We take so much for granted, and we forget sometimes to just say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you, Lord, for starting me on my way. Thank you, Lord, for blessing my sons and my daughters and my grandchildren. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So, I just want to just take a little time this morning to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because he's been so good. You know that the old folks used to say, the Lord has kept me, but he's kept me all of my days. Amen. All the days of my life. And God just asked, you know, just a few things of us. He says that you are to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then you know what he says, church. He says, in all those material things, I'll provide them to you. Yes. You just seek me first. Put me first in yes. your life. Amen? Yes. And then I'm going to bless you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That's his promise.
promise to his people. Amen? Amen. Praise God. For he says that everyone that asketh, what? Receive it. And he that seeketh, what? Find it. And he that knocketh, he will open the doors. Amen? And God is a promise keeper. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. For the word tells us that every good and every perfect gift comes from heaven. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Sometimes we think mama gave it to us, a daddy gave it to us, a sister, a brother, our kids, you know. But when they give you something, that is something that God has placed in their hearts to do for you. Amen? And isn't it something when your enemies come around and do something for you? <laughs> something out of the blue, amen? It wasn't because they wanted to necessarily, but God put it in their hearts and in their minds to bless you. Praise God. Hallelujah. For Jesus said that I have come that they might have life and have it what? More abundantly. That means that he's not only going to meet your needs, but he's going to give you a little bit more. Amen? Praise God. Ain't God good? Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. But you know what God says? That as much as we say we love him, as much as we thank him in the light, he says, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Praise God. For he that doeth the will of my Father who is in heaven is the only one who will. Praise God. That's why we always got to stay in prayer and stay connected. Amen. Stay connected so that we do God's will. Amen? Amen? Praise God. For he says that many will say to me in that day of judgment, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? You know how we say God said Hey, Amen. Hallelujah. He said, have we not cast out devils? Have we not done many wonderful works? Remember my last sermon that where I said that God wants to see some fruit. All that talking ain't about nothing unless you're walking right, living right. Amen. Praise God. So Jesus says, and then will I profess unto them. He's going to tell us, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity or sin. See, you can't just talk if you got to walk it. You can't just profess something and then not live it. Amen? Amen. Praise God. For God says in his word that we got to walk by faith, church, and not by sight. You got to believe this thing. You got to trust in him. You got to have faith in him that he, his word is his bond. Amen? For the word says that God can't even go against his word. Amen. And whatever he has for you is for you. Amen. Hallelujah. So, you know, true believers don't have any problem believing this. See, the world will tell you, how can you believe in a God that you can't see? But church, we who are believers know what he's done for us. Amen. We know where he's brought us from. We know that he lives in us because every so often you can just feel that thing. Amen. There's something that just keeps you, just makes you want to just shout out. chapter 11, uh, the word talks about, you know, this great cloud of witnesses. They, they actually start talking about it in chapter 10 and chapter 11. This, uh, you know, they start naming some of these people and they're talking about like Abel. We remember Abel. Yeah. Abel gave uh, faith worship. You know, he gave the sin offering, which was through blood. He gave a better offering because it was a, a sin offering and it was from blood. Amen. Praise God. We remember Enoch. Remember Enoch? Enoch is the one person in the Bible that never died, other than Elijah, that is. Praise God. And the word says that he walked the earth 300 years, loving the Lord, blessing the Lord, and the Lord just translated him from earth to glory. Amen. Amen. And they say it's been 5,000 plus years, and he's still there in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And they talk about Abraham, our spiritual father, Sarah, our spiritual mother. All of these people who have gone on, who never died in faith, not having received the promise. Amen? Praise God. Uh, but they saw them apart and they were persuaded that, you know, there was a better word coming. Now, how many of you truly believe the word? Amen. How many of you truly believe God's promises? Amen. How many of you are trusting and putting your faith in God? Amen? Amen. Praise God. For faith is the substance of things. Hope for 
the evidence of things not seen. That means that you you almost you can see it in your mind's eye, amen, in that spiritual realm, but it's not yet in the physical, but you know it's there. You know it's coming. Why? Because you have faith in God that he will deliver. Yes. Amen, just as he delivers you. They believed, and like all of us, they experienced for themselves what God could do. They knew the hope of their salvation was in the one true God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. So, you know, I just want to take a little time to just thank him. And every so often we need to just take a little time to just thank him. The, the author and the finisher of our faith. Because I said before, with our faith it's impossible to please God. Now, you know, maybe we should, we've, we've looked at the testimonies and the witnesses in the Old Testament, but that, let's just look in our own congregation, amen? Let's just look at some testimonies, some witnesses who can testify to God's goodness and his, his mercy and his grace. Uh, we had a testimony from Sister Rose today, and she was talking about some, some little problems she was running into, and she, she blamed it on herself or hard-headedness, she said, you know. But, but Sister Rose, if you look back, I can remember a testimony where you said you had, a, you had a tumor in your brain. Amen? Praise God. Didn't God bring you through it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Just say amen and thank you, Lord. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And you know, even though we might wake up some mornings and we don't feel as good as we, we want to feel, amen, but we know that God is a healer. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. He is a healer and whatever it is that we are going through, he will bring us through it. Amen? Praise God. Hallelujah. And if I could, uh, could go to Sister Costair, you know, she shared with us how the Lord changed her life. She shared how she used to be homeless. And now she's got a roof over her head. And maybe, you know, she's praying for that house, but God has given you a roof over your head. Amen? And she talked about some of the things she went through in her life, you know, and all of us have fallen short of God's glory. Amen? Praise God, but God brought her back and he brought her closer to him. Amen. And he's changed her life. That's what God is. He's a life changer. Amen. If you let it, he will change your life. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, we all show football short of his glory, but praise to be to God. He will not only heal us, Sister Rose, but he will also comfort us and he will bring us through. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. For he says that you can't. Have friends unless you show yourself to be friends. Friend. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And God tells us because yes. Sister Costaris, He's a forgiving God. Yes. Anybody glad that God is a forgiving Woo. God? Yes. Hallelujah. I say we all fall short. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Nobody can point a finger at anybody else because Amen. it starts with you. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. But we need to understand in that forgiving business that God will not forgive you. Unless you forgive us. Amen. 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 Praise God. Yeah, he says he will forgive you. But see, when his love is in you, you can't help but love others. Amen. When his love is in you, you can't help but forgive others. Amen. When his love is in you, see, self is supposed to die. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. So that only Christ resides in you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So I thank God that he is such a good God and awesome God. Oh, yeah. See, in God's kingdom, you give to get. In God's kingdom, you die to self to live. In God's kingdom, you let go to let God take control. Amen? Praise God. Sister Willamette has told us about how the doctors had given up on her. You know, they told her that she could bring her family in to say her goodbyes. Amen? Plan a funeral. Amen? They were just that certain that she was going to pass away. Amen? But how many of you know it's not over till God says it's over? Hallelujah, hallelujah. And she's here today, years later, after they had given up on her, amen? And, and God didn't stop there, you know, giving her a, a testimony because he even saved her another time just a few years back, amen? amen. When she could have been crushed by a vulture and bus, amen? But God just moved out of the way, amen, hallelujah. God's angel stepped in. I mean to know that God will step in right on time. Right on time. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. And Sister Gorley, you shared with us about when your son passed, amen, uh, being killed by a, a, a drunk driver, amen. And you know that's a difficult time when you lose a loved one. I remember uh, even in terms of uh, our, our sister, uh, Wiley, when her, her sister passed, and, and she was dear to her, she was dear to us, amen. Praise God. And we know who are in Christ. 
that when our loved one passes, you know, the word says to be absent in the body is to be present with the Lord. Anybody trying to get to heaven? Amen. Anybody trying to get to heaven? Amen. They're where we're trying to be. So that when my dad died, as hard as it was, I understood that this is a time for preparation. So that as I got closer to the Lord, I understood then that when my mom passed, praise God, that she had to go that way before she could make it to heaven. See, you can't make it to heaven without dying first unless you're like those two that God translated. Amen? Praise God. So all of us know that God is a good God. We know that he's an awesome God. We know that we have no excuse for not thanking him when we get up in the morning. Yeah. Thanking him when we're up, thanking him when we're down. Thank thanking him when we feel good, thanking him when we don't. Yeah. Thanking him when we're depressed, thanking him when we just feel just like it's an awesome day. Yeah. We need to thank the God all the time. Oh, yeah. Not some of the time, but all of the time because it's been too good to us. Yeah. He's a healing God. Yeah. He's a forgiving God. Yeah. He's a comforting God. Yeah. He's a saving God. Yeah. He is a God all by himself. Praise God, hallelujah. And I just want to take the time to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for Jesus, for giving your only begotten son, who died so that we might have life eternal. He died, but he didn't stay dead. Praise God, hallelujah. For the word declares it on the third day. He arose with all power. Save the power. Heal the power. Forgive the power. Come to the power. And now he lives. Praise God, hallelujah. Say thank you. Because he lives. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And thank you, church. Thank you. Amen. Amen.